you know, win or go home, right? Yep. And, you know, we talked to both coaches throughout the week, and the respect that they have for each other, the respect that they have for each other's team, you know, they, they say, you know, we're, we're a lot alike. We they play are. a lot alike. And, and what does that mean, right? I mean, that means it's going to be a tough, hard, in-your-face type hockey game. We'll find out here over the next couple of hours. Huskies now with a chance and a good stop from Scholl. His best of the game right there. Kataroff right out in front. Point blank stop. Has he been good this period? Yes. Now the Beavers trying to get to Pietala. Here's a chance. Oh. They do! Right on cue. They put it away. They center the puck. And Casper Magnuson and the Beavers draw first blood. It's 1 0. Well, you get the puck in deep and you go to work and you saw all three forwards behind the net. They gain control of the puck. And Magnuson right in that slot area, didn't even look, got the puck on his stick. And he puts it past Pietala to make it one to nothing. Bemidji oh, trying to come in, numbers now two on one for sure back the other way. Here they come, Nordstrom the low shot, Joel made a stop, rebound, and they score! Chase Pietala, he goes to the top of the paint, and he gets it by Matthias Scholl, and just like that, the game is tied at one. Well, there was a turnover in the neutral zone, Bemidji countered quickly, and then they turned it over, as you can see the shot, and Pietala, right on the doorstep, knocks it past Scholl, to tie this game up at one. And what's the most important shift after a goal? It's the next, next shift. shift. The response. The response. A little bit of room for him. Gains the red. Sends it in deep. Bemidji State will change up their personnel inside of 11 to go. Here comes Mosley. 17 on the year. Backhander. He's got 18 on the year. Tied for the team lead. Ryland Mosley with 10.40 to go in the period. Gives Michigan Tech a 2-1 lead. And that play started with Bemidji State dumping the puck in. It wrapped all the way around. Bemidji State got caught on one side of the ice. That opened up everything. And Mosley makes a terrific move. Goes to his backhand. Beats Scholl. And Tech takes a 2-1 lead. Mosley's goal right now, the difference in this game. And that line has been terrific they tonight have. for Michigan Tech. Many have said to you and I in the last few weeks, we knew we were doing this game. Right. That line might be the best in the league. Oh. Is Pietala going to make a stop? And then Magnuson was coming down the left side. He's camped out in front. Big 28, turning, shooting. And he's on the bench for now. His team with five minutes to go now in the Ozone. Oh, They've what spent a, a lot of time. We're going to get our first penalty oh. of the game. And the hit on Irie. And Michigan Tech is going to be shorthanded for how long, I think, is the question. Nick Williams, Bruce Vita makes the call. And Vita's going to talk there with fellow referee Brady Johnson. That was a big hit. Two minutes. Here's a look, Pat. And Michigan Tech wins the Mason Cup and the CCHA tournament title. And they get the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. It is their third trophy in a row. The Broadmoor in 17, the Sauer Trophy in 18, and in 2024, the Mason Cup. So a word for the Beavers and Casper Magnuson. Who was great tonight. He was. I mean, he, he was terrific. University with 34 And your Mason Cup Championship MVP of the game is Rylan Mosby of Michigan Tech University.
with the game-winning goal. Please receive your honor at center ice. Here's Mosley, the game winner, Pat, as you heard, with Don Fans Lucia. Tonight's results, the Michigan Tech Huskies are the 2024 Central Collegiate Hockey Association Mason Cup playoff champions. And here comes the Mason Cup. The Mason Cup is named after legendary Lake Superior State, Bowling Green State, and Michigan State coach Ron Mason, whose name appeared on the trophy a league high 13 times. Mason was instrumental in the establishment and success of the CCHA, helping it to grow into one of the most powerful college hockey conferences of all time. With the Mason Cup joining the historic McNaughton Cup as part of the CCHA family, the CCHA now has arguably the best trophy tandem in college hockey. Fans, please give a warm welcome to the commissioner of the Central Collegiate Hockey Association, Mr. Don Lucia now standing at center ice to present the Huskies the famed Mason Cup. I'd like to congratulate Bemidji State University and Michigan Tech University for an outstanding CCHA playoff championship game. I would also like to acknowledge the great attendance, sellout, a tribute to Bemidji State and their fans and the Michigan Tech fans who are here tonight. With that, I'd like to present the Mason Cup in the automatic qualifier to the NCAA tournament to Michigan Tech University. Logan, Arvin, come and get your trophy. Hockey fans, please show your appreciation to the 2024 CCHA playoff champions, the Michigan Tech Huskies. Starts back in June and July oftentimes, Pat, for these teams in college hockey, and that's the moment, one of the moments, that these teams play this great sport of college hockey for right there, what you're seeing.